but let's start with our normal, where we normally start, the focus or challenge of the month. And uh, it's temperance. Now temperance ta talks about compromise. Um, it has a lot to do with giving up something to get something or meshing two things that normally, two things, two people, two personalities uh, that normally do not mesh. Um, and in order to do that, compromise is necessary. So that's why. Um, this also, this card is the Sagittarius card of the Major Arcana. So this may have something to do with Sagittarius. And um, there may be something coming up where either you or someone else surprises you with a, a shift or change that they want to make. Or maybe they want to move um, away. Uh, you know, you, you, you may have a child who's decided they want to go to college in the fall, but they want to go kind of far away and, um, or maybe they graduated just this year and they've decided they want to move, uh, you know, kind of far away from you. And this could be news to you. It's like the, you know, the, this is something totally kind of coming out and, um, I think for some of you, you won't be too happy about it. Uh, for others of you, you'll be fine with it, but it's just kind of like, you're going to have to kind of um, you know, with compromise being necessary, that normally indicates, well, you know, we have to give up something in order to make this work. And we don't always want to have to do that. Um, uh, some of you, there may be a trip or some travel or an actual move that kind of comes out an opportunity to move, um, an opportunity to make a shift or change to another department or to another office on the job. Um, so for some of you, this could be, uh, at work. Um, but we do have the nine of swords here. So, I mean, that's card that is normally indicative of, uh, insomnia, having trouble sleeping because we can't turn off our mind. We're worried about something or someone. For many of you, this person may be a partner, uh, your spouse, um, or definitely someone close to you, uh, who is making this shift or change and, um, you know, you're concerned about this. You 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 feel like um, this person could be making a mistake, or um, you know, uh, missing out on an opportunity. Um, you may feel like someone should make a shift or change, or support you in making a shift or change, Leo. And maybe someone's just like, well, that's going to disrupt my life. Um, so, so you may find that someone's being selfish. Now, Leo, sometimes you can be selfish. <laughs> so, um, make sure again, compromise is going to be necessary. And if you're married, you already know that because no marriage can stand without compromise. But, um, yeah, you or someone else is only thinking about how a shift or change is going to affect them, but it's an opportunity that either you or this person really can't miss out on. It could really kind of change things. Now, for some of you, this could be your spouse who's going to have to now travel for work if they take a new position, or, um, you know, maybe you would have to move uh, regarding, you know, relocate for your spouse's job. And uh, you feel like it's your spouse who's just kind of expecting you to give up your ties or give up your life or your job and uproot, um, you know, your life and go to this new location. Others of you, if it's a job that's going to cause your partner to be away a lot, you may be worried, you know, well, how's that going to affect our relationship? How are we going to make that work? Um, for some of you, maybe you're not married and it's some, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend has got a job offer and now you kind of have to make this decision. Um, you know, if you're going to move there or what, how are we going to do this? Are we going to do long distance? Um, I would eventually have to move there, you know, but with this card on the table, it indicates that if both parties are willing to compromise, a solution can be reached, uh, in July. Um, for some of you, this may have something to do with real estate, with buying, selling property, because uh, Othila is on the table, Othila. It's also the root of the past and family, and it indicates delays or frustrations around those energies, domestic delays, do domestic frustrations, um, delays in trying to purchase the property, being concerned about that, being worried if you're gonna be able to sell or, or, or buy a property or move. Um, yeah, someone seems to really want to move from where you are. And if it's not you, Leo, it, it, it seems to be someone within your household, someone within your family that you're close to that it's going to affect you if they go away. 
Now, the help that's going to be available to you, you have the Four of Cups. So, um, this is a card sometimes that is um, indicative of uh, sometimes it's like you, you've got enough, but you're not looking at what you have, you're looking at what you don't have, or you're not. So this could have to do with you're only seeing the negative of a situation. You're, you're not seeing the positives of a situation. You're only looking at um, the disappointment or like what you would have to give up in order to compromise, but not what you might gain or um, what you might gain through your partner if they get a better job, if this is a better paying position. How would it affect your relationship? Would it improve if you move to a new location and you, you know, had to rely more on each other? Um, would that be a better thing? So, um, yeah, th this card is saying, you know, um, that's going to be a help to you uh, for you to look at what you're gaining. Something that seems like a disappointment or that seems like it would be difficult is actually going to bring a gift. So, um now, for some of you, if you've been in a partnership that you feel like has run its course or that you're bored in, this can also sometimes be the card of boredom. And the only way I can see that that would, with this rune specifically, would come up as a help to you is that this may enable you to get rid of a partner <laughs> or uh, like they'll just move. And, and, you know, that will give you the impetus to say, well, you know, I don't want to do long distance, um, you know. So, uh, yeah, if you've, if you've decided you're kind of done, if you feel like you've done all you're supposed to do in a relationship with someone, Leo, um, it seems like their relocation or a job opportunity that's actually good for them uh, might kind of save you that hard talk or give you a reason. Um, maybe if it's been too hard for you to confront in that way that, you know what, I'm unhappy. I just feel like we're kind of done here. Um, it seems like it may be taken care of uh, for you. Uh, now, what must be accepted about July? We've got the Six of Swords. So, um, and this is normally, again, like uh, situations we can't control, other people, external forces that, you know, we can only react to. So that's why I feel like with the Six of Swords here, this is a partner that wants to move. This is more than likely for most of you. Or this is a shift or change involving someone close to you that is going to affect you and you're not totally happy about all of the ways it's going to affect you. But again, make sure you're not, you're not ignoring a silver lining, Leo. Um, or, you know, maybe we don't know what opportunities would lie uh, somewhere for us if it's a new location, somewhere we've never been. So, yeah, consider the opportunities, um, you know, or maybe even research. Look into the opportunities online that may be available uh, to you if you were to go with a partner. Um, if that's the way this is working out, um, if this is someone that's leaving again for school, for academics, uh, to study, um, or, or to, to, uh, to do something, um, yeah, like get an advanced degree or, or something. Um, some of you, especially if this is your child, you may feel that this person just does not have the aptitude for this. Like, oh my gosh, they're not, they'll never finish this. Um, you know, and here, you know, if you're contributing, paying for their education, you'd be like, hey, we're going to pay for all of this and they're never going to finish this course or they're never, they, it's just not, it seems like they are embarking on a journey that is all wrong for them. But again, I, you know, there's this silver lining. Maybe they will surprise you. Um, I feel like like who or whatever this is, it's this is definitely a stepping stone to their future. They kind of have to go explore this. And if it's not going to work out, they have to find out on their own because it seems like it's going to lead to the next step on their journey. And so if you were to stop that or try to prevent that, you know, you could really kind of change their future for the worse, Leo. So just keep that in mind, um, you know. Now, this could be someone that you feel is too young to go on a long journey. Maybe this is just, you know, one of your kids that wants to go travel and go on a long journey somewhere. And um, maybe it's the first time they're going with just their friends, no, like, a adult, quote, unquote. Maybe they're in their early 20s and they're wanting to go to a foreign country and you're, you're a little bit concerned about that. Um, 
you know, I, I do feel like, uh, for the most part, you know, they, they, they will be all right. Um, I'm seeing some drinking. Um, I'm seeing some partying, I'm seeing some partying on a sandy beach. Um, but I'm not seeing anybody getting arrested or anything like that. Knock on wood. Um, but yeah, this may, may not be the most trustworthy kid anyway. So, um, you, you may be concerned about that, but I mean, I think it'll be a good experience. You know, traveling is an educational experience in and of itself. So, um, but for most of you, I do feel like this is an opportunity for, uh, someone close to you that is uh, a job opportunity, but it would require relocation or would require a move for both of you. And you feel like this person is not considering your feelings, not considering how this would affect your life and just being selfish about it. And, um, it's disappointing to you. Um, and you may be taking it too personally, Leo. I, I don't know that this person thought that you would react this way. Maybe they thought you would be excited to move. Maybe they thought you were bored and you would like, you know, the relocation aspect of this or that you would like maybe them being away so you could have your space for a little while. But um, yeah, there's something about it you're concerned about. And, it, you know, um, but again, if you want to keep this relationship or keep this person in your life, compromise, uh, you know, will be necessary. Um, and again, this may not be forever. Uh, maybe this is a temporary assignment. Uh, someone's being deployed. I don't know. I, I feel like that message is for a specific amount of you out there. Maybe your spouse is being deployed and, um, you know, they're going to be away for a while. And maybe, you know, this is the first like long term or the first time this has happened and you or you were hoping it wouldn't happen for a while longer. And, um, you know, you have to decide if you're going to go, if you're going to stay, what you're going to do. Um, so the end of the month, you've got the seven of swords here in reverse. So that indicates, it's actually a good card in the reverse because it indicates recouping a loss, getting back, finding something you thought you had lost or um, something that was over beginning anew. And that's indicated here by, by Isa here. So, um, yeah, if something happens where, you know, you kind of have a split, you kind of have a breakup, or maybe you're just not speaking. This can just be the situation is frozen. If you are talking about it and you reach an impasse, you're arguing about it, and then you're just not speaking to each other. Um, I do feel like there will be a way by the end of July, if you're both willing to compromise. Remember, these outcomes only, only happen if we take the advice given in the reading. Um, but yeah, you can recoup anything that's lost. If you think this really, oh my gosh, it's over. If you have a bad fight about this, um, it seems like there's a way at the end of the month to, uh, you know, get this back on track. If you want to Leo, like I said, some of you may have decided, um, you know, this may be best or, you know, maybe you decide, okay, we'll stay together, but you know, you go do this deployment. I'll, I'll stay here. And then, you know, we'll come back together. We'll do long distance uh, while you're gone and then, um, you know, uh, start anew again. But yes, just, just consider the possibilities. R remember, see that silver lining, Leo, because there may be opportunities for you in this location as well. You just may not be aware of them um, yet. And you may not become aware of them if you don't kind of check into it, do a little research, maybe talk to some people who uh, have lived there or, or who are familiar with wherever this is. Um, for many of you, it does seem overseas or it does seem like a long distance, if it, especially if it is a military uh, deployment situation. So, um, you know, but again, travel is education for everyone. And that includes you, Leo. So uh, again, definitely consider uh, what you could stand to gain from supporting your partner uh, in this. And if it's you, they should do the same. But again, like I said, with this being in the position of others, it does seem like it's it's someone else that and it's affecting you um, how they want that they need to go go abroad or travel or move. So um, but yeah, and there also could be someone those of you that are single, if you're not in a partnership at all, this could be just someone close to you or um, this could be an ex kind of moving back. 
like someone that you haven't seen in a long time, someone that you um, have broken off with or maybe even divorced, um, moving closer or moving back to, to where you're living or, or uh, that kind of sense. Um, and because again, kind of getting back something you thought was lost or a new beginning with something you thought was over, that could be what's going on here. But 